Okay, so here we are in the Google Certified Educator uh, Level 2 training. Now we're going to take a look at Google Scholar. Okay, so we're going to type in Google Scholar and we'll begin with a search. So let's say we're looking for um, a topic on um, uh, dyslexia. Okay, I'm gonna pr so I pu put in dyslexia, I press search. Now there's a couple different uh, tasks that we're going to go over. So the first one is to search for relevant publications. So up here you type in whatever you're searching for. So we got dyslexia. Let's say we got, let's just say we want phonological dyslexia. And um, you can actually um, filter that search if you go by, by the side, right? So it starts to sort by relevance, but you could change that by date. Okay, and then you can get more specific with dates since 19, excuse me, since 2019, since 2018. You can build a custom range, okay? Um, you could have one that includes uh, citations or ones that includes uh, patents. Okay, so now let's say you want to get a little bit more specific and you want to look for a, a advanced scholar search, right? So you see over here, you, you can, you know, filter your search, but let's say you want to use the advanced scholar search. So you're going to go here and click these three little lines, okay? It'll open up the sidebar. And then right here, you see advanced search. Okay, so if you want to get more specific, you can press advanced search. And then we're starting with specific learning with disability. Okay, uh, those are some words you have. Maybe you want to add the word special education. And then it wants to have the exact phrase. I don't know. Or it says with at least one of the words, without these words. Um, if you can go uh, by, uh, you know, uh, recent articles authored by. So if there's an author on, on learning disabilities and special education uh, related articles. Return. So there's all there's all different stuff you, you can do here, okay? And then you would press this thing, search. And now you get a little bit of a different search, right? Because we, we added like two more words to it. Okay, so now let's say you want to build a, a Google Scholar library. And I already kind of have a library going with some stuff into it. So I'm just going to add a little bit and show you how to build it. It's the same way. So you'll start by searching a topic here. We got phonological awareness. Let's get a little bit more specific and say phonological awareness reading. So maybe you take a look here. And you open up these articles and you find one that you like. And all you have to do is press this little star here. And then it's going to be saved to my library where you have a matching star. Okay, so I press this star. It says De Defining Phonological Awareness. So let's go to my library. And there it is. Defining Phonological Awareness and its relationships, etc. and so forth. But like I said, you're building your own library, so you can get rid of stuff too. So let's say I click this check mark here, and I'm like, you know, I don't need this anymore. Boom. Delete. Okay. Community algebra. So maybe, you know what, you want to add a label to that. I already got mathematics here. Okay. Apply the label. It's under the math label. Um, you can see manage labels here. You know, education blooms. Mathematics. Um, biology, I have a section for biology, the Krebs cycle, mitochondria, okay? Um, this is just ways you can add to your library and, and build something something really, really good. So now let's say you want to find a citation, okay? You want to find a citation. And we'll take a look at the second, the third one here. Morphological awareness. It's easy. You just go to these little, little quotation marks that say cite. We're going to click here. And now you look at all the different ones you have. You have MLA, which you can copy. It's going to highlight over. Right click and boom, it's copy for MLA. APA, copy. Or you can just press you know, con control, control C. Either one. Okay, so that's just a way to find citations. And now um, the last thing we're going to do is create a quick alert. Is create an alert. Okay, so you see it's right here. It's one way to get to it. Another way is... You open up here, and you can go to alerts, you know, right here as well. So if you go here, okay, this is my email because it's create, a, create an alert. And let's say I want to get an alert on, we'll say, dyslexia. Okay. How many results? Hey, whatever. Show up to 10. And create alert. Alerts for Midtown Novella, Gmail. And alert created. And if you're searching for, you know, right now we're searching phonological awareness, a quicker way to, to do a create alert because this is the topic we're already looking for. If you want to get an alert on this topic, 
you can actually go right down here as well, create alert, and boom. Okay, so now this is right under the dyslexia one. It's a little bit quicker this way.